In this tutorial, I want to show you how to change color. Uh, there are two different ways that I use to switch color. The first way is slightly harder, so please bear with me. So what I'm going to do is, in the next stitch, I want it to be blue color, and then in the stitch after, I'm going to change to green color. But to uh, make the second stitch you see here green, I'm going to have to do the color change in the first stitch. So let me just show you here. I'm going to just make single crochet to keep things easy. So I'm going to yarn our hook and pull through like that but instead of completing uh, my single crochet like that I'm not gonna finish it all the way through I'm going to leave it in as the two loops now you have to grab a new color whichever color you wanna change the color with I'm going to put that new yarn Oops, over the hook and then you're going to pull that new yarn through it's going to give you a loop like that and you could notice that the other end of the yarn is just hanging there which is fine I'm going to flip to the back now we're going to have to secure the tails I'm going to put my index finger on like that to secure it right now. So on the next stitch, let's push our hook through. And what you're going to do to change color is you need to wrap the two tails of different color over your hook. And what I'm going to do next is make a single crochet because we want the next stitch to be green. But while we're doing that, we're going to try to secure the tail uh, that results from the color chain. So I'm making a single crochet here. So now it looks very neat. We got our blue single crochet and then the green right next to it. And you can just keep making uh, the green stitches for the rest of the round like that. Okay, the only part now we have to worry about if you're making things in row is, okay, how do I make sure this doesn't show up? Uh, one thing you can do is get your needle and try to hide it um, between these loops and get the needle to try to hide like this uh, blue tails some, somewhere in there. That could work as well. So let me undo this real quick going to show you the second way to switch color. So like before, I want my first stitch to be blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a single crochet. So for this method of color chain, uh, I don't need to change the color while I'm trying to make that single crochet. I could just go ahead and make the single crochet. And I'm going to grab my scissor and finish that off. And pull it out like that. So this method of changing color, I have to finish that off first. Then I can grab the new color, make a loop, like that. Going to push the new loop through the next stitch right there. 
Now, yarn over hook and pull through and yarn over hook and pull through both loops. So here you just made, I mean I just made one single crochet in green color. Then I could continue to make the rest of stitches in green as well if I want to do that. So this is another way to change color a bit easier in case you maybe got confused in between trying to change color in between. You can just finish off uh, the stitch, the first color stitch, and then start a total separate loop to start out a new color. And here's how it looks in the back. You're going to notice like a, a slight separation and that's because you know we did a finish off and then we start a new loop so it's gonna be a bit of separation which is fine 